and welcome to Think Up. My name is Patti de Bonitas. Today we want to talk a little bit about what is going on in Iran with the um, workers' protest, but more specifically about the elected workers' representative, Esmail Bashi. It, you might have followed the news of the last couple of months that in the south of Iran, in Khuzestan province, um, the workers of Haftar Pay, which is a sugarcane factory, they have been protesting over unpaid wages. They, um, they're saying that the privatized company, that the management um, embezzles money. And they, they formed a workers' council. They formed an independent union, which is, of course, um, illegal in Iran to form independent unions. And they've also formed a workers' council, which they say could run the company. They have elected their own representatives, and one of them is Esmail Bashi. Um, they had uh, several months of protests, and at one of those protests, Esmail Bashi was arrested, and he was for about 25 days in prison. Now, and he was released in December. In January, now beginning of January 2019, he um, he wrote a public letter. He wrote an open letter, and said that he was tortured while he was in prison. And he cha challenged the head of intelligence, Mr. Alavi, to an, a public debate on state division um, about um, his torture and also that the intelligence service apparently listened in to some of his conversations with his wife. Now, after that, the Iranian regime said, we are going to investigate these claims of torture and they, they had a commission and they apparently looked at the videotaped um, confession of Esmail Bashi. And afterwards, the head of this commission said on state TV that actually Mr. Bakshi has links to the Worker Communist Party of Iran. I've invited Hamid Tavaye, the leader of the Worker Communist Party of Iran, today to discuss these issues with us. Hamid, welcome. Thank you for having me. Hamid, um, tell me, the, why would the Iranian regime bring up um, when, you know, when they're doing this investigation about the alleged torture that uh, Ismail Bashi mentioned in his letter, why would they bring up now that Ismail Bashi is apparently linked in some way to the WPI? Uh, the thing that they said first was this point that uh, it hasn't been, he hasn't been tortured. And then they said, he confessed that he is a member or he's affiliated to WPI. So they are related to each other, those two claims. The first one means that regime doesn't want, uh, of course, that people think that uh, Bakshi or the other prisoner has been tortured. There is no torture. But again, when they say he's a member of this party, meaning so we have uh, to justify his arrest, to justify his imprisonment, and even somehow to justify, even if he has been tortured, uh, regime was right because he's a communist. You know, for Islamic Republic, communism means uh, means uh, enemy of people, means uh, 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 some some uh, a party who's uh, illegal, who want to overthrow the regime. So being a member of the that party automatically means that you are a criminal. So regime has every right to arrest you, even to torture you. That's the, that's the logic behind that, uh, that claim. So, Hamid Havaya, can I ask you, um, is Ismail Bakshi, or has he ever been um, affiliated to WPI? No, he hasn't. He, he didn't apply for membership of our party, and we have no uh, relation, I mean, in terms of uh, 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 organi uh, organizational party has not, no, no relation with that. Uh, uh, with, with Bashi, but uh, uh, politically, of course, uh, Bashi and our party are fighting for the same thing, for the same old, for the same slogans. Bashi fighting for uh, uh, workers' councils, which is a policy of our party for a long time. We have been promoting that. We have been uh, 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 talking about that, explaining that, inviting workers to to assemble their uh, councils. And Bashi does exactly that in half that. So that's one reason, maybe, that they think that, okay, Bashi sh must be or should be a member of this party because he, he, he does the same thing. He's fighting for the same, uh, same slogans and same goals. And it's not only Bashi, but many workers, in you know, many activists in the labor movement, even 
uh, in women when there was a you know, revolutionary girls that who, who were protesting against hijab uh, it, it again it was our uh, slogan our party is a is a struggle our party that we have been always against islamic hijab and now many women in iran fighting for the same thing or fighting against a capital punishment fighting for uh, freedom of uh, political prisoners and so on and so forth all of those campaigns that our party has been organizing uh, promoting now happening on the streets of iran and that's another reason that regime says that okay bakshi or the other activists they should be they must be a member of political part uh, uh, wpi because they are fighting for the same thing so why would um, the Iranian regime then specifically mention um, by name the, the Worker Communist Party of Iran when usually when there's an accused, they would just say, oh, he has colluded with, he's in contact with enemy governments, for example. Yeah, they used to say that there are agents, those, those protesters are uh, uh, agents or the activists are agents of some foreigner governments, especially the USA, Great Satan, or Israeli government, or that sort of thing. But the, the fact is that that thing is not working anymore for the regime. People on the streets of Iran, a, a popular slogan is that they, our enemy is here and they are lying about our enemy being USA or any other government. Our enemy is here. That's a very popular slogan. So that, that line of propaganda doesn't work anymore for the regime. That's one fact. The other thing is that our party is so uh, present in any and uh, so involved in any protest that they cannot ignore it anymore. So they so it logically it makes sense that when the, you see that people uh, uh, are shouting the same slogan our, that our party uh, have been promoting for a long time. So it makes sense that they say, OK, so they are a member of a communist party. You, you should know that for Islamic Republic, uh, being a communist automatically means uh, uh, being a criminal. Not only because our party is illegal, because we are communists and they are uh, Islamists. The is Islamic Republic. So well, by definition, by Islamic law, they can even execute a communist because it doesn't believe in God. So for in there, they think that when they say, when they tell people that somebody is a member of this party, automatically means they are justified to arrest him, to uh, torture him, to harass him, to do anything with, with that uh, person. So that's another reason. So one, one, uh, on the one hand, politically, our party is so uh, involved in everything that they cannot ignore it anymore. On the other hand, the classic or their old propaganda is not going to work. So they think that, OK, a combination of those two. Now we can claim that those are communists. And, you know, by this claim, what they mean, or they hope that people believe, is that they are working for a party. They are a party agent. They are not representing you. They are not fighting for people. It's a, they are against the system. They, are, they want to overthrow us. So if Bakshi says that, for example, for, fight for increase of wages, or fight for uh, having the right for uh, uh, independent assembly, independent organization, is the policy of a party, is not f fighting for you. S regime thinks that can uh, polarize the, 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 the situation this way, party in front of people, against people. But the fact is that parties with the people, people know that, regime knows that, and even those propaganda is not going to get anywhere. So, when the head of the commission who watched this videotaped confession of Ismail Bashi, he was interviewed on Iranian state TV and he said that the policy of the WPI is like widening the protests. What do you have to say about this statement? He is right. In this respect, he is right. We are widening the protests and we are proud of it. Not only we are widening the protests, we are radicalizing it. Uh, we are uh, organizing it. We are giving us a platform, a slogan, an aim. And that's, that's we, 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 we established our party exactly for that. Because everybody in Iran hates that regime. Majority, 99% of people, they want to overthrow the regime. 
and are, uh, uh, the, the up uprising that you are witnessing in Iran is uh, for uh, against the regime. It's not for only for this or that demand. The main demand, the the, the uh, goal is uh, getting rid of Islamic Republic of Iran, and that was the strategy and the policy and the goal of our party. So he's right. We are not only widening the the the, the protest. We are organizing it. We are giving it slogan. We are defining the, the aim and the, the, the goal of those uh, protests and uh, uh, regime doesn't know what to do uh, confronting that situation. So they just try to say that, OK, uh, he, the people protest, people who protest, they are not representing people or actually doesn't represent workers, represent the party. But party and workers are the same. Party and people are the same. We are fighting for the same goal for getting rid of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Hamid Tavayi, thank you so much for being on the program today. Thank you. This was Think Up with Hamid Tavayi, the leader of the WPI. Until next time, goodbye.